News first from Niger and the West African bloc ECOWAS on Thursday said that all options were on the table as far as Niger was concerned, ramping up the rhetoric and ordering the activation of a standby force for the coup hit state. This as the military junta installed a new prime minister and a 21-member cabinet. The ECOWAS bloc is holding its second emergency meeting today in the Nigerian capital at Juba. Uh, which could prove a pivotal moment in the standoff. The bloc's leaders are expected to agree on the next steps, including a military intervention. At the meet, Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu expressed that no option is off the table, including the use of force as the last resort. Direct the committee of the Chief of Defence Staff to activate the ECWA standby force with all its elements immediately. Order the deployment of the ECOWAS standby force to restore constitutional order in the Republic of Niger. Niger has been engulfed in political chaos since late last month when President Mohamed Bazoum was ousted in a coup by the Presidential Guard. ECOWAS responded by issuing sanctions and an ultimatum to the ruling junta to reinstate President Bazoum within a week. Meanwhile, UN expressed deep concern over Niger's ousted President Mohamed Bazoum. According to media reports, the detained leader sent a text message to a friend saying that he was held in isolation and forced to eat dry rice and pasta. We are aware of recent reports that President Mohamed Bazoum of Niger and his family are living without electricity, water, food, or medicine, and I can say the following. The Secretary General is very concerned over the deplorable living conditions that President Bazoum and his family are reported to be living under as they continue to be arbitrarily detained by members of the Presidential Guard in Niger. And well, to get us the latest on what's happening in Niger, we're now being joined by Nabil Ahmed uh, from Accra in Ghana. And Nabil, first came the sanctions, now the announcement of a standby force. It's unclear at the moment what this activation and deployment means in real terms. Tell us more or, and on obviously also the likely scenarios and Niger's response. Well, indeed, uh, the deployment of the standby force by ECOWAS is really unclear, as you rightly said. But what we understand is that uh, the standby force comprises about 3,000 uh, personnel. And um, if they are going to be deployed to Niger, that would mean that probably they would go to uh, continue with the negotiations with the junta leaders to see how best uh, the agreement can be reached to transition to a civilian rule. Uh, of course, at the end of the emergency summit on Thursday, the ECOWAS leaders also said they are open to further negotiations and that even uh, military intervention is not really ruled out. So um, when you juxtapose that one to the standby force, it means that it, should it come to a point where the military intervention will be needed. Indeed, ECOWAS will make that decision to send in the troops to Niger. But um, we also know that back in Niger, uh, the junta leader is still resolute and is holding on to power. He's in fact uh, appointed some 21 cabinet ministers and it appears that he'll be going ahead to conduct the business of government. So still, um, we are unsure as to what this response would be from the Niger Junta leader, given that the ECOWAS leaders will still want to be negotiating with him, because already in the past, he's actually uh, not given them any, uh, I mean, audience to listen to whatever they have to say. But uh, it's still an ongoing process and would hope that some uh, agreements will be reached with, uh, with the junta leader to really hand over power to or to reinstate the ousted president, uh, Mohamed Bazoum.